Cracking down on deep fake photos, the Nassau County District Attorney calling on Albany to change the law to make it a crime to digitally alter sexually explicit images. Now, this push follows the arrest of a Long Island man who posted fake photos of more than a dozen former classmates. Today, he learned his fate. Sorry? As we learn, the one reason investigators were able to charge him with a crime. News 4's Paisy Chang covering this. She's live in Mineola. Paisy. Yeah, David, you know, this man is accused and was convicted of taking images of girls he knew in high school, superimposing them on other women's bodies in its sexually explicit poses. It's called deep faking. And as the Nassau County DA found out, there's no New York state law that punishes this. She wants to put a stop to it. 22-year-old Patrick Carey dodged news cameras as he ran into a Nassau County courtroom to face a judge. Depravity on display by this defendant truly makes my skin crawl. Prosecutors say Carey manipulated photos of girls he knew in high school, creating sexually explicit images, and then shared them on websites, a process called deep faking. And convincingly superimposing their faces onto separate images of other women engaging in sexual conduct. One woman spoke on behalf of all the victims, saying in court, your name will forever give me nightmares and haunt me. At least I'm strong enough to tell you to your face, you make me sick. Six months seems light. The parents of some of the victims angry about the judge's six-month jail sentence. We've blurred the video to protect their privacy. I hope he gets forgiveness from the higher power. That's all, because it's a horrible thing that he did. It's a horrible thing. Are you sorry? DA Donnelly says the only reason Carrie is serving any time is because investigators found a single explicit image of an underage girl. All the deep fake photos, while explicit and outrageous, are not illegal in New York. A deep fake image is just that. It's a fake. And creating a fake image, even if it is sexually explicit, is not a criminal offense in New York State. Donnelly is proposing changes to the law that would close that loophole. There's no satisfaction, but, you know, uh, I just pray for the victims and, and hope they're able to go on with their lives. Carrie didn't speak to reporters, but in court he told the judge he can't chalk up his behavior to being a young, dumb kid. And he also apologized to the victims and their families, even though they didn't want to hear it. He now has to register as a sex offender. Live from Mineola, Paisy Cheng, News 4 New York.